Right. Hi, everyone. I am Cal from Mystical Hug, and welcome to yoga tonight. So glad you could join us. Uh, so tonight we have, as usual, Matt playing music for us and a bunch of people from around the country practicing together. So I received a lot of requests for tonight, and I'm going to do my best to fit them all in. I got some requests for fun balancing poses, so we're going to try a couple that are maybe new to you or maybe just ones you haven't done in a while. I received requests for uh, kind of the runner's muscles, hamstrings, and quads. So I know a lot of people are running extra these days or running for the first time maybe. And so we're going to try some stretches called P and F stretches. And so it's a mix of contract and release or passive and active stretches that you do alternating. So we'll do those a little bit towards the end. And if you like those, I recommend looking them up online. Uh, usually PNF you would do with a partner or with a physical therapist, but you can do them at home. And uh, if you have a friend or a partner to join, you, you, can, you can do a lot with them. Uh, also, multiple people requested a class that was a little bit more relaxing, a little more soothing, a little more healing tonight. So I, I love when people synchronize their requests and we get multiple of the same in one night. Uh, so I will honor that. We won't do a ton of sun salutes or really active stuff. Um, we will do some strength building and some more heat building poses, but it will be overall a little more relaxing. We're also going to do a lot of kind of rocking and swaying in poses, which is a great self-soothing technique. We think about kids and how they like to go on swings and rocking chairs and like to be held and rocked but we kind of forget about that as adults, how that is still a great tool for us and um, a great way to calm down the nervous system. So we'll do a little bit of that. And then of course, a long savasana. Um, and then one of the requests I got was for low back. And so, so much of what we do in class is low back related, but I'm gonna honor that request by starting this tonight in ragdoll, which will be a chance to release the low back before we even get started. All right. So first, bring your hands, actually, and bring your hands to your hips today. Feet hips width apart. You can pick up your toes, give them a wiggle, place them back down, press down into your heels, bend your knees just a little bit. And with your hands on your hips, imagine yourself grounding down from your hips down, just feeling really rooted and strong. And then begin to straighten the legs, lengthen through the spine, Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Maybe lifting through the chest just a little bit, heart space shining forward. But keep your tailbone tucked, your hips in alignment. Grow long through your neck. Relax your jaw. And just take a few breaths here, coming fully into this space, into this moment. With each inhale, feeling the crown of your head grow taller to the sky. With each exhale, feeling your shoulders, your neck, your jaw softening. Keep breathing just like that. Oh, thank you for those of you who said hello. Jen, Amanda, Lenny, glad to have you. One or more, one or two more deep breaths. Maybe on the next couple exhales, opening your mouth, letting out a sigh. <sighs> let the whole day go. Any of your worries, just let them melt away. One more deep breath, grow tall. And on your exhale, with your flat spine, forward fold all the way down. Relax your head. Bend your knees just a little bit and cross your arms inside your elbow creases. And then just begin to sway a little bit side to side here. Really focusing on releasing through the low back. So it doesn't have to be as much of a hamstring stretch. We have plenty of those coming. Keep 
keep going left and right, left and right. See if there's anywhere you're still holding in your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. Really let it go. Come on back to center. Reach your hands towards the floor. And on your next inhale, hands come to your shins. Halfway lift. Take a few breaths here. On your exhale, fold once more. And take your time, slowly rolling to standing. Arms reach overhead. Big inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, open your arms wide. Shine your chest forward like you're trying to catch some rain in your mouth or just opening yourself up to the sun. And then continue that big circle with the arms all the way back. And shoulders come forward and up. And back and down. We're going to do that a couple more times. Inhale, arms reach up and around. Little upper back back bend. And all the way through. Shoulder roll. <sighs> Last time. Hands come forward and up. Huge chest opener. <sighs> and shoulder roll. <sighs> Bring your chin to your chest. And slowly roll right ear to right shoulder. And then just go back and forth a couple times. Left ear to left shoulder. Hands can be right by your sides or they can come out a little bit away from your body. That changes the stretch some. But really just focusing on gently going back and forth. And then come back to center, relax your hands, and lift your head all the way back to neutral. Inhale, palms to the sky, halfway, and exhale, palms float down. Keep going just like that this time, coming all the way up onto the toes on the inhale, and back down to the heels on the exhale. So starting with a simple balance is a great way to bring focus into this moment. And this particular balancing pose is a warm-up for something fun we're going to do later in class called Drinking Bird. So hopefully wherever you live, you've been hearing all the birds here in Southeast Portland. It's just a chirp fest all day long. It's so nice. Sometimes I will listen to bird sounds online if I don't have enough bird sounds in my life. So I haven't needed to do that recently, but if you don't have birds by you, there's plenty of bird sounds you can find online. All right, let's just do one more. Really go for it. If you're holding back for fear of falling, just let yourself fall if you need to. Really lift up like a ballerina and come on back down. Come to the front of your mat. Bring the weight over to your left foot. Hands can come to the hips. Step your right foot back for a nice big lunge. So we're gonna ease into it. So don't worry about perfect form just yet. One, one thing by one thing, we're gonna really make this a strong lunge. So first pick up your left toes, give them a wiggle, place them back down. Press into your whole left foot evenly. And then bring the weight back a little into your right foot so that you're balancing the two feet. Weight is right in the middle. And now bend your right knee a little bit to bring the hips in alignment. So if you bring your elbows right to your hips, you can see what happens if you kind of open your hips and then pull them back into alignment. So your fingertips should be parallel here with the front of the mat. So you can try that a couple more times and just feel that difference between the open hip and using that traction, left hip forward, right hip, sorry, left hip back, right hip forward. And then from here, work on straightening that back leg. There you go. 
Hands can come by your sides. Shoulder blades reach together just a little bit. And then notice the inclination to arch in the back here and imagine that you are pressing a wall with your hands and you're pressing all your energy into that wall to bring your low belly in and strengthen through the core. And then you might need to re-straighten the back leg. So keep imagining that pressing in the hands. So you will have a natural arch in the spine and that's okay, we're not trying to get to a straight spine, but just trying to keep that core engaged. Okay, you might be feeling it already, maybe a little shake. One more inhale. <sighs> inhale, arms to the sky. And exhale, rain it down, hands come to the mat. Drop your back knee, untuck your toes, press into the top of your foot. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, rock back. So we're just gonna go back and forth, go at your own pace. Move with your breath. Yoga can be a mix of that exacting, perfect alignment and a little bit of free flow, a little bit of choose your own adventure. Next time you come forward, stay forward. Your choice, any twist you like. Left hand can come to the thigh or straight up to the sky. Since we've got a couple requests for a more relaxing, soothing class today, I'm gonna go with that first option. Whatever you choose, still growing long through your spine, still keeping your core nice and tight. Breathe and wait to get permission to go a little further and twist a little further. Unwind back to center. Tuck your back toes, lift your knee, and then we'll just take some nice little hop, hop, hops to forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Slowly roll to standing. And we'll take that nice sunshine circle once more. Arms to the sky. Big, huge circle. Upper back stretching to the sky. And roll the shoulders. And forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step your left foot back for lunge on the other side. Take your time finding your way all the way to high lunge. Once again, pressing down into that front right foot, maybe lifting your toes, give them a wiggle so that the weight is even throughout the whole foot. And then bring the weight back a little bit into the left foot so the weight is even between the two feet. Bend that back knee, tuck your pelvis just a bit, hips come into alignment. And then begin to straighten the back leg. Palms open, hands by your sides. Imagine that wall in front of you, pressing your palms into it to engage the core. Go tall through your spine. One more time, press into that imaginary wall, strong through your core. Nice straight, strong back leg. On your inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, rain it down. Hands to the mat, drop your back knee. Untuck your toes. Inhale, rock forward. And exhale, rock on back. Take your time going back and forth, moving with your breath. Inhale, come forward. Left hand plants, take any version of that twist to the right.
couple more breaths here. If you get permission, go a little bit further. Come on back to center. Tuck your back toes, lift your knee. Hop forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exo forward, fold. Slowly roll to standing. Arms reach, big arms circle. Upper back bend, stretch the chest to the sky. Arms sweep all the way down, shoulder roll. <sighs> Shake it out. All right. All right, we're gonna try a fun balance. Let's see, any comments? Sound is okay. Oh, Catherine, so good to have you. Wonderful. So we are gonna try a version of chair. This one's actually called drinking bird. So first you can bring your hands to your hips, practice that grounding once more, feeling yourself rooted down into the earth. And then sit back in your imaginary chair. No one said they were new to yoga, so I think people have the basics of chair here. Nice and tall through your chest, maybe sitting a little bit deeper. And then reach the hands behind you. So you can come forward maybe a little bit more than you usually do in chair here. Bring the weight into the toes and then begin to lift your hips. Find that point to focus on. Maybe come down a little bit deeper. Reach your hands back. Couple breaths here. Drop your heels. Straighten back out. Deep breath. <sighs> All right. And then we're going to try one legged -like chair. So bend your knees a little bit. Weight comes into the left foot and cross your right ankle over your thigh. So you might already feel a little wobbly here. That's okay, you can stay. If you wanna try going on, bring your hands to your heart center. Sit the hips back. So if you've been doing a lot of leg workouts, uh, squats and things, you might be a little tight here. Uh, but if you've got the mobility today, keep going, keep going. And maybe you can bring your forearms right to your leg. If you did make it this far, you can try kind of sinking your hips a little bit lower and lifting them. Kind of bend and straighten your knee a little. A little rocking here. Just coming back to that idea of self-soothing. And then come to your lowest point. Hold for just a couple breaths. And nice and slowly, gracefully unwind. Come back to standing. Palms to the sides. We'll take just a couple breaths with the eyes closed. <sighs> and as you're ready, flutter the eyes open. Bring the weight to the right foot. Bend your knee just a little bit. Cross your left foot over your right thigh. Sit back into your heel. Begin to sit down low into your tiny chair. Keep that left foot flexed. Maybe you're just going a little bit today. If you want to go on, bring the hands to heart center. And if you can sit down far enough, keeping that flat back as you come forward. Whoa, forearms to the shin. So if you fall out, get back in. That's what I'm doing today. And if you do get those forearms down to the leg, you might try bending and straightening a little bit. Rocking. And then maybe come to your lowest point for the last couple breaths. And slowly, gently unwind. Shake it out. All right. Feet come out wide, toes point to the corners of your mat. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Couple more. A 
full inhale, reach, 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 and let it all go. <sighs> Hands come to the thighs, twist to the left, breathe here. And to the right. Last week, someone commented on my bookshelf and our games. They said they liked the game Azul. If you haven't played that one yet, it's very beautiful. And I think it's a, almost kind of a relaxing meditative game. It's really fun. Once more right side. And left side. That game, Mysterium, you actually get to be a clairvoyant. It's a really beautiful artistic game as well. Come on back to center. All right, I know your legs are burning, but we're gonna stay. Cans come to heart center. So pressing down into the ball of your right foot, lift your right heel, sitting down a little further. Drop your heel, left heel lifts, sink down a little further. Drop your heel. Keep going one foot at a time, or if you want, try both heels. And lower. One more time. And lower. All right, straighten the legs. Toes come forward, hands to the hips, and forward fold. <sighs> Reach the hands out as far as you can in front of you. Almost like a half downward dog here. Weight still more in the feet. And then hands come all the way over to the right side. So again, kind of like a half side downward dog. Wide legs. Breathe here. And another side. Hands come to the left. One more time, hands come to the right. This time, pivot the feet forward for pyramid. So both feet face the front of the mat. Nice long spine. And round over, relax and breathe. From here, we're gonna try another one of those balance poses. So walk your hands forward so that your hips come over your heel and your shoulders come over your hands. Left foot rises to maybe about halfway. And then you can stay here. It's a really challenging pose already. If you wanna add on to the balance, begin to stack your hips left on top of right. Begin to bring the weight to your right hand and maybe reaching that left hand to the sky. And then from here, maybe coming up to the fingertips. Whoa. And then fold back down, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, and slowly roll to standing. Big circle with the arms, any back bend. Hands come by the sides. Close your eyes, we'll take a few breaths here. Some days the balance is better than others. Maybe today is not my balance day, but practicing balance on the days where your balance is off is the day, or the days you really need it the most. So we'll hang in there together. All right, flutter your eyes open. We're gonna come to the other side. So spread the feet nice and wide once more. Pivot the toes, or actually we'll come forward fold, and then walk the hands all the way over to the left side. Pivot to the front of the mat or the back of the mat. Pyramid. 
a nice long spine. And rounding down. A few deep breaths here. And then walk yourself forward, lift the back leg. And only if you want to, moving on, stacking right hip, hip over left, bring the weight to your left hand. And right hand can reach towards the sky, or it can also just come to your hip here. Couple more breaths. Come on back to center. Bend your knees, plant the hands, ever in a step, right back to downward dog. Relax your head, relax your neck. Settle in and breathe. We're gonna come forward into plank, inhale, and downward dog. Couple more times, move at your own pace here. So in a minute, we're gonna come to pigeon on the right side. If you know you have a way that you like to get into it, three-legged dog or doing some extra arm strengthening first, you can certainly do that. Otherwise, come down to your knees. Since I've promised a more relaxing, restorative class today, that's how I'll be getting there. So slide your left, or sorry, slide your right knee forward. And I think you all know Pigeon. No one said they were new to yoga today. But I wanted to also suggest trying it this, this other way, seated, just crossing right ankle over left thigh. So if you love pigeon, just go for it. You can do your pigeon how you usually do. But I wanted to point out that we often think of this version as a modification, as something you do if you can't do pigeon. But actually trying it this way allows you to bring your foot a little bit more to parallel. So for example, in pigeon, most of us need to tuck the foot back as opposed to keeping it flush with the front of the mat. So that's completely okay, and it's just a little bit of a different stretch. So for those of you who wanna try getting the stretch a little bit differently today, maybe try this version. Wherever you are, close your eyes and breathe. Noticing where your mind is, no judgment, just bring it back. Just a few more breaths on this side. To switch sides, you can choose your own adventure. So maybe think about how you want to get to the other side and you can now move mindfully to get there. Whatever version you're choosing, once you get there, close your eyes and breathe. Maybe taking a moment to just focus within, find that little spark of joy. Maybe you know it's there, maybe you've been feeling it all day, or maybe it's been a little bit blotted out by the challenges of life. 
Whatever your day's been like, that spark of joy is always there inside your heart space. Maybe just see if you can allow the sounds of the music to act like a little kindling, a little breeze, to let that spark turn into maybe something more like a fire. Feel that joyful energy reaching through your whole body. Expanding beyond. One more breath here. And take your time unwinding and come all the way up to seated Dandasana, staff pose, legs out in front of you, spine nice and tall. All right, so first, really engaging through the legs, you can try that same practice again of bringing your hands to your hips to feel yourself grounding down, grow tall through your spine. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, come forward with a flat back first, and then round over, reach your hands wherever they land, relax your head and breathe. slide your way back up nice long spine so you can keep going practicing that a few more times or if you want to try something different today we're gonna do a little bit of a twist so left hand reaches for the outside of your right foot now if it's really far away you can just bend it just bend your foot reach for your foot and then press your foot into your hand to begin to straighten and lengthen your leg. It's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Sit up nice and tall, right hand comes behind you, twisting open. Maybe stay here, or you can reach your right arm out so you've got a little bit of a parallel situation here. Arms parallel with the floor, big Texas T. If this is too much on your back, you can just ease out of it. Especially those of you who mentioned to me having some challenges with your ribs and back lately. Go easy. Take this one nice and slow. <sighs> Just a couple more breaths. Hang in there. All right. Come back to center. Bend your knee. Place your foot right up here by your hip. So for some of you, this might be a huge stretch already. You might even come down a level and just bring foot right up against your thigh. But if it works, bring your foot up to your hip. Work on getting that knee down towards the mat, so it'll probably want to be up here. So press it down a little. Grow tall through your spine. Inhale, arms to the sky. Nice flat back. Come forward and round it over. So if you feel pain where your foot and your thigh are coming together, See if you can relax your thigh a little and you might even pick up your foot and place it back down. And if that's still too much, maybe you just take this time to give yourself a little massage on the top of your leg. All right, slowly come up. Unwind, reach your hands back behind you. Just give your legs a wiggle. If you want to try a little reverse pose, you can bring your hands by your sides, fingertips pointing towards your toes, and lift your hips. Come on back down. You can stay. I'm going to flip around so I can face the camera still. One more time, Dandasana, legs out long, arms to the sky, and forward fold. Slowly roll back up. Begin nice strong core to make that twist to the left and then reach the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Bending your knee if you need to and then straightening your leg or coming closer to straight. Pressing through the heel, twist to the left. Stay here if you'd like or left hand reaches back. Trying to breathe. <sighs> 
slowly, gently come back to center. Bend your left leg. Plant that foot right up here by your hip. Knee comes towards the mat. Arms reach to the sky. And forward fold. Slide your way back up. Straighten both legs, give them a wiggle. You can try that same thing we did on the other side, the reverse plank, or you can try reverse tabletop. So bend your knees and then lift your hips to the sky. Gaze right down at your navel. Glutes nice and strong and release. All right, great job, everyone. Come to cross-legged, left foot in front of right. And we'll just take a couple cat-cow breaths, rocking forward and back. <sighs> and then some big circles in one direction. Maybe linking your breath to your movement. In reverse direction. Come back to center. Sit up nice and tall, hands on the tops of your legs, close your eyes. In Buddhism, there's an idea that you always want to treat yourself as you would your most revered guest. So take just a moment of introspection to think about if there's anywhere in your life you've treated yourself that you would not treat a guest or a friend. A name you've called yourself or maybe you've told yourself that you weren't able, you weren't capable of doing something, you weren't strong enough or brave enough. And think instead, what would you say to a friend if they came to you feeling like they weren't enough? What would you say to them? Now maybe just silently say that to yourself right now. More breaths here. As you're ready, slowly, mindfully come all the way down to your left side. So you can either come all the way down, rest your head right on your arm, or you can sit up with your hand in your head. Left leg is going to bend so that you can reach back and grab your foot or your ankle. Right leg can come to straight, or if you're a little wobbly there, you can keep a little bend in it. So first, we're gonna do a really active stretch. So grabbing your foot, press your foot into your hands, hand into your foot, press your hips forward. So pelvic, pelvis tilting a little bit to get a big stretch in your hamstring, really active press into your hand, and then let go of that pressure that work on your leg and just use the strength of your arm to pull your hamstring, your foot into your glute a little bit more, hips forward, stretching your hamstring, and then just relax the whole thing. So just let your leg go for a minute, take a couple breaths. 
and we'll try that one more time. So once again, pressing actively into your hand, hips come forward, big active stretch. And then relax and just pull your foot in a little closer, hips pressing forward, but really relaxing in your quad. And then relax, let your leg come out straight. <sighs> While we're here, we're gonna do just one core strengthening thing that I think is fun. So press yourself up to come to your right forearm and then step your left foot in front of you. So from here, we're gonna work on just lifting the hips. So this is probably gonna be a lot already. If you want, you can straighten both legs and stack them, but otherwise stay here and just lower and lift your hips. We're gonna do that just three times. One, two, and three. Come on back down, bend your legs, come all the way up to seated and just take a little stretch to the left side. Ah, back to center. Swing your legs around. Come on down, left side. Reach for your right foot or right ankle. Come right to that active stretch, pressing your foot into your hand, hips press forward. Big stretch in your quads here. And then relax and just pull with your hand your foot into your glute. Now, if you feel any pressure on your knee or your knee just doesn't feel comfortable, don't do this part. You can just do windshield wiper on your back, stretching your quads that way. Never want to strain our knee. And then relax completely. <sighs> Take a couple breaths. One more time, pressing into your hand, hips come forward, really activating the quad. Just a couple breaths. And then softening that quad muscle and just pulling the foot in towards the glute. And then relax, straighten both legs. Come on up to the left forearm. Right foot crosses in front, or legs can stack if you'd like. Your hand can be right here in front of you, your right hand, or it could be on your hip. And then press into the outside edge of your left foot, lift your hips. One, two, you actually have to do four on this side because I started counting on two last time. So three, and then one last one, four. Bend your legs. Come on up to seated. Left arm reaches up and over. I watch a Pilates video series and she calls this one mermaid. Come on back to center. And come all the way down to your back. So we're gonna try that same technique with the hamstrings now. So right foot to the sky, clasp your hands behind your leg or up on your calf. Left leg and stay bent or can come to straight. And first we're gonna do that same active stretch, pressing into the hands, hands into the leg, really turning on the legs. And then relax and just use the strength of your arms to pull your leg a little closer. Once again, press your leg into your hands. We're gonna keep pressing for five, four, three, two, one. Relax the leg and pull it in a little closer. Even if it means the knee is a little bit bent to totally relax the leg. And then bend the knee, hug your leg into your chest. Nice long neck. Tuck your chin. Take a couple breaths here. Both legs stretch out long, arms overhead. 
Then this time, left leg to the sky, clasp your hands behind your leg. Press into your hands, hands into your leg. Nice active pose here. Keep pressing, keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Relax your leg and pull it in a little bit closer. It's okay to have a little bend in the knee if that helps you totally relax the leg. And then one more time, press through the heel, press your leg into your hands, creating that resistance. Five, four, feeling that shake. Three, two, one. Relax the leg and pull it in a little bit closer. Bend your knee and hug your leg into your chest. Breathe here. <sighs> Place your foot back down. Right foot bends. Feet come as wide as the right leg bends. Feet come as wide as the, as the mat. Drop your knees to the left side. Breathe here. And over to the right side. Then just go back and forth a couple more times. So I know a few of you have asked me about the recordings of these classes and asked, asked me to post them live and, or post them for, you know, forever. And I always feel a little self-conscious about all the little mistakes and awkwardness being immortalized on the internet forever. But I trust you guys and I love you guys. And if you want the classes, I do have them saved as unlisted and I can send you the link. So let me know if there's ever a class you really love and you want to do it again. I'll be happy to send the link to just you. Come back to center, and we'll take a deep twist here. You can just bring your knees together and drop them, or for deeper cross right over left, and knees come to the left side. Freestyle with the arms and with the head here. Breathe into the place that feels the most restricted, bringing softness, gentleness, letting go. Oh yes, and I posted a new video today. It's my first ever follow along yoga music video. So I took some of Matt's music, uh, his electronic stuff under the title of Belico and I made a yoga video that times up with the music and has some cool effects. Take your time, switch to the other side. And those of you who have been in my classes before will recognize I tried to uh, emulate the glow squares that we have in class to give a little bit of the vibe of the live class. So you'll see, if you haven't already seen the video, I think you'll, you'll maybe recognize some elements from class. And if you do like it, let me know, because I will make some more, but it took a lot of hours, so I'll probably just make more of them if you find them helpful and want to actually do them. And if, you're, if you think other people might like them, then please share and send them to your friends, or send it to your friends. goal will be to eventually do a full yoga album that's a class and an album and a music video all in one come on back to center 
Reach your arms overhead. Stretch in any way that feels good to end your practice here before we sink into Savasana. <sighs> Add a layer of clothing, grab a pillow or a blanket, whatever you need to feel good here. And whenever you've settled in, right away, relax your entire body. From bones to skin, just relax. Imagine a tiny, tiny smile on every cell in your body. Your organs are smiling. Your feet are smiling. Every fiber of your being radiating joy. In this joyfulness, see if you can let down your guard. Softening the space around your heart. Softening all the common places where we hold or grip or try to protect ourselves. The jaw relaxing. The neck relaxing. Belly soft. pelvic bowl relaxed. On your inhale, feel your energy, your awareness moving from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And on your exhales, feel that energy and awareness moving all the way back up your body. Inhale, energy moves down and exhale moves up. Each time this energy, this awareness passes through your body, it clears up any blockages, anything stagnant brings energy to any place tired or weak. Feel it pulsing through your body, bringing healing anywhere that's needed. This energy is both relaxing and soothing and at the same time empowering. Allowing you to become aware of your full strength. Allowing you to remember your goodness. Allowing you to see yourself as you really are. Since we've had requests for a relaxing practice tonight, we're going to end lying down. So bring your left hand to your heart, your right hand to your belly. We're going to take just five to ten deep, slow breaths here. Allowing your 
your whole body to fill with nourishing healing breath on the inhale and your whole body to just relax and soften on the exhale. Remember to treat yourself as you would your most honored guest. Shine that love that you share with others, with your loved ones. Shine it back at yourself as well. That energy, that focus can be both inward and outward at the same time. Love is a replenishable resource, never ending, never ending resource. Keep relaxing here as long as you like. You deserve it, you've earned it. Thank you so much. I'm so honored. I know there are so many different things you can do with your time, and it means so much that you practiced. Yoga with Matt and I tonight. The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you. Namaste.